Hey guys, um, I am working on my rocks <laughs> for my homework assignment, and I'm just showing you guys the progress I've made so far. Um, let me see if I can. Um, this is what I have so far. And I'm still going in and working on my shading, trying to get my values darker. Um, this is a very, very boring assignment. And she wants us to fill up the page with these rocks. And I don't know if that's going to happen because these this assignment is very boring um also i'm not liking the texture of this paper for this i'm, I'm gonna try a smoother paper i'm gonna do one rock on a smoother paper and see and see if that's better this paper isn't it doesn't have that much too but um i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah see how you have these little gaps where there's enough too that I'm going to have to press down really hard to fill in those gaps. And if I do that, I'm going to get a shine, a real bad shine on the paper. And I, didn't, I don't like that graphite shine thing. So, and we're not supposed to use pencils, not supposed to use charcoal. So, I'm like, you know, just thinking about doing just these rocks. And then I'm going to try it on a smoother paper and see what happens. Um, it's a slow process. I started these in class yesterday, just like the shot little outline. You guys saw a little bit of an update video I did yesterday too, but it's a very slow process. And this is the picture. And you know, they're not perfectly just alike, simply because I didn't, I haven't, I could have gritted it out to try and do it perfectly or something. But rocks are kind of a organic, especially beach rocks. It's an organic thing, and um, the shapes change every day with the erosion. So it's not perfect. It's not going to be photorealistic, um, but it'll be rocks. <laughs> um, because I think to get a photorealistic drawing, you have to type take into account the type of paper you need to get the maximum effect. These rocks are smooth rocks. This paper isn't perfectly smooth. So, I have some Bristol some smooth Bristol right here. And this surface is very smooth compared to this site. Like, yeah, so I'm going to try it with the smooth Bristol to see the different effects I can get. Um, and like with my shading, I tend to shade uh, lightly with pencil simply because. It's, um, if you start light and go dark, if, if you have an area where you need to do a big revision and it's light, it's easier to get it off the paper. Whereas if you start out dark and you realize later on or, you know, a little bit into the piece that, oh, wow, you got like this big area that's messed up, um, there's no way you're going to get all that graphite out of that paper. And so... You know, you're going to be, especially if it's like something that you've already got a lot of time invested in one other area of the paper, of the portrait or drawing, then you're going to have to either start over or just suck it up, accept the error, and move on. With rocks, um, I don't think there's going to be too much of worrying about that. So, that's my little update this morning um if i do any more work on these because i need a break now i think i need to get uh, seriously because of my vision stuff i think i'm gonna have to start and find a way to draw in a slant or something
because um, I think that would probably help me too with my drawing. So, all right, guys. That's that's it. That's my update. Take care.